Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita billah The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that paradise was surrounded by uh, you know difficulty and that the hellfire was surrounded by those things which are we're inclined towards our desires there's immense wisdom in this and when we reflect on this hadith as well as all the ahadith of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and from those benefits when we reflect and we see how our lives how complicated at times it can be to do that which is good that Good ibadah and full ibadah requires some mushakka, it requires some difficulty. And no doubt, staying away from the muharramat requires sacrifice. It requires checking your desires, checking the things that you're inclined toward, inclined towards. Those things which you, you want to do, you want to engage in that. Everybody else is doing such and such. Uh, this new type of finance is appealing. Gambling. I know my friend, they make so much money doing this. And so and so makes so much money doing riba. So all of those things, and they bought, they purchased a house, they purchased a new masjid, they purchased a new building, they started a dawah center based on riba. All of those things are in accordance with desires, even if the people have a good intent. But however, all of those things, they lead to naw. They lead to the hellfire. They don't really have the success because they are a compromise of good and a sacrifice of the reward and the good in order uh, to partake in some evil. Or partaking in some evil in uh, contradiction to that which is good. So... It's very important for us to know that it's not easy to get to Jannah. And Jannah is surrounded by those things which require some difficulty. It requires money and sacrifice of time and health and wealth to make Hajj, for example. Very expensive in this day and age. But it is one of the pillars of Islam, so it is good. And it's a means, as the Prophet Sallallahu said, Al-Hajj Mabrur, Laysa Lahu Jazai La Jannah. That Hajj Mabrur, the accepted Hajj, there is no reward for it, Illa Jannah, except that Jannah, except that paradise. If your Hajj is accepted by Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, then, Bi'idnillah Ta'ala, that's paradise. The reward for that is Jannah. So that requires mashakka, requires difficulty. And abstaining, as we mentioned, from all of those things which are muharram, which are things that we may uh, want to indulge in, that appeal to our desires. Abstaining, this is also the path to Jannah and Khair. By indulging in those things is the path to hellfire and it's so easy to indulge in those things which you're inclined towards to your desires that's easy it's easy to to, to go into uh, involve yourself in zina to involve yourself in money laundering to involve yourself in being a thief to involve yourself in riba uh, and to lie and to cheat that's those are easy things to do and those are things that can be in accordance with our desires more often than not so those are the things which surround Jahannam, the hellfire. And that means it's so easy for us to fall into it. So it's a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters to do our best to try to control our desires, embrace good, and take the steep path to Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with those deeds that please Him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us 
from those things which displease him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal bless us all with jannah to pardos and forgiveness and guidance and his continued grace, mercy and favor. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.